we're getting better. You know, it, it's tackling is a lost art. People forget about that part. So we're getting better at that. And um, you know, one missed tackle is one too many. So as long as we can keep going in the right direction, you know, we'll be all right. Why do you say it's a lost art? Normally, I would say it's a lost art. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, it's just, just got to go out and tackle, just get the guy on the ground. You know, we don't make those calls. You know, we're just trying to, you know, play ball, play fast, get the guy on the ground, make sure they don't get any extra yards and kind of go from there. Can't worry about the refs or, you know, the calls and stuff like that. Patrick, when you look at uh, playing down in Miami, what's the, what's the biggest challenges you've been here over a while not understand how difficult it is? Um, they play good at home. I mean, they're five and one at home, you know, one and five on the road. So it's... You know, two totally different teams. So, I mean, they're a good team, regardless. You know, they have a lot of good players, a lot of um, explosive players. You know, dealing with some injuries, but I mean, they're still a good team, and they're at home. And they're gonna, they're gonna be ready for us. Is there anything within four. that stadium, like about that environment, that you would describe that does make it tough? Um, no, I, I don't know. They're, they're so, they just play hard, man. I mean, the fan. I mean, the fans are there. Obviously, you know, they're chirping at us and stuff, but. You know, they, they play hard. They play hard regardless. You know, it's had some bad breaks on, on the road, but, you know, it's a totally different team. So we have to come come out so here and be ready. Are you aware that, like, even well, for Brady in particular, but of all the places you go on the road, that's kind of been your worst record as a franchise and in recent years in particular? Does that surprise you? Um, just got to go out there and handle business then. <laughs> you know, so we're, we're, we're not – we haven't done good out there, so hopefully we can turn that around. What happened last year to Butler? I think he threw, like, three touchdowns in the <coughs> Uh, I don't remember. Is that something that Bill Belichick brings up in meetings all week long when they're reviewed about this game? Uh, nah. I mean, he preaches to play good on, good on the road, period. I mean, we have to play better on the road. And, you know, this is a good chance for us to, you know, go out there and, you know, play better and against a team that's going to play good at home. So we'll see how that goes, and so hopefully we can execute. There's some team stats out there saying that you guys as a team are missing fewer tackles this season than you have in a long time. Is there anything, any reason you can point to, to why that might be? Uh, because we preach it. You, I mean, you can't tackle, you can't play. We have pads on for a reason, you know. So, um, we preach it, we we practice it, and you know, we want to see that carry over into the game. You know, if you can do that, then you know you have a good chance of playing. Has the emphasis there been any different now on, under under Flo than what it was with with Matty P beforehand? No, that's not Flo. It's Matty. I mean, it's it's Flo and Matty P, but it's Bill. You know, like. He, you're not going to go out there and, you know, be a little softy. You know, you got to go out there and be physical and play and play, play tough, play hard. You know, you might have to hit some people, and, you know, it is what it is. You know, you got to be tough out there and just, you know, go play ball. What do you remember about your, your battle with Danny after practice all years? Danny's a man. <laughs> I mean, that's because it's my friend, but he, he he's a small dude, but, you know, he's stronger than you think, and he's feisty, you know, and, and he's going to he's gonna be ready for us. You know, he's a tough dude, plays through, plays, plays through injuries, smart. You know, so whatever the injury report says, we're we're getting ready for Danny because he's good. He's he'll be there. He's a tough guy. Do you have any good stories with Danny? Yeah, stuff I'm not gonna share with you though. <laughs> Getting back to the tackling thing, what's the the challenge of tackling a guy like Frank Gore? who has been along so he's been here you know, forever and run so low and so hard. Uh, I mean, yeah, he's a good back. He's gonna he's gonna make you miss every once in a while. But I mean, tackling is just more of a will thing. Either you want to tackle, or you don't. You know, and you know, Bill puts that here. So these guys in this locker room, like we're gonna, we're trained to play physical, play you know football, you know, with pads on. But you know, so will you want to get on the ground or you don't? You know, and and we practice that here, and then you know they get paid too. They're gonna make some plays, but you know if we win that battle, you know ratio ratio battle, we'll be all right. Uh, yeah, I mean he's he's a cool kid, man. He's long. He has he has he has all the attributes. So hopefully he can um, get, you know, get it going and help us. What's been going on to get the defense playing so well in the last two weeks as opposed to the first three weeks? Um, um, I think we've been playing hard. We just had you know just a couple of plays where we can you know we can eliminate those. There's a couple of plays that we can not have, but other than that, man, we've just been. We just put our head down, man. We've been going, you know. Good play, move on. Bad play, move on. You know, a coach preaches that. You know, short memory. You know. Build on 
that's all that that's all based on us. You know, everybody in the room that wants to you know continue to get better or get worse. You know, and we're we're here to get better. And Bill puts that in us. Our our guys know that. So um, it's really just on us. You know, player players play, coaches coach. So we're out there and we're gonna try to do what we gotta do to win these games for us. That's it, better. What makes you, in your eyes a good defense that evolves over the course of time that just gets better and better? What are some of the keys to doing? Uh, just sticking with it, man. I mean, not getting, not like I just said, not getting too down off a bad game, not getting too crazy off a good game, and just try to get, stay consistent and you know not get complacent. You know, compl complacency is a big thing that can cause a lot of you know bad plays and you know, you know fluctuation in, in your in your in your play. So, not getting complacent and just continue to be consistent and be professional, uh, and then everything will be fine. <coughs> Most underrated teammate. Yeah, I, I have a lot of those. I'm gonna go Malcolm though, Malcolm Brown, because he's he's good, man. He's smart, and he hustles, and no one really sees it. No one sees the D line. You know, everyone's about you know wide receivers and safeties and corners and all this stuff. So no one really pays attention pays attention to the D line. And our D line's been hustling their ass off. You know, and we see that, and it's getting better, and hopefully we can continue doing that. But, you know, they're, they're doing a very good job. Do you have a better view of that? I know uh, last time you played Miami, you played some times that looked like you got killed or close to the game at a vantage point. Do you, what are you doing when you see that stuff from a new moment? Uh, I mean, when you're at middle linebacker, you're just trying to you're just trying to get to the ball. <laughs> you watch film, and we, we go over that stuff. So, um, just watch the film, man. Man, we're 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 good, but we have to be better if we want to continue to win games and play better teams as you know as the season goes along. We have to continue to you know work hard and you know do what's best for the team and you know go from there. Um, we haven't got anywhere yet. You know, we got a lot more games to go and a lot more games to improve and or decline. You know, so I mean, I can't really answer that question. You know, I'll answer that. You know, later on in the season. You know, when you know, hopefully we get to where we're, where we're planning to go. Got to play a lot of times. Is you know the hydration a factor found there, or what, oh, how, of course. how do you prepare yourself to, to play in that kind of weather conditions? Well, hydration is a factor in every game. You know, whether it's hot, cold, snow, it doesn't matter. You know, hydrated, you're, you're done. You know, but especially down there, you know, it's hot, it's humid. So, you know, being hydrated, being, being professional, you know, you know what you're going into, what you're going getting into. So, you know, hydrating and make sure, make sure you're good, make sure your muscles are good and just go out there. It's not, it's not a big deal if you don't make it a big deal.